And so I don't feel guilty. I don't talk to my sisters like I used to. I don't talk to a lot of people on one side of my family like I used to, and I don't feel guilty about that. For what? This is my life. I'm choosing to live my life the way that I want to live my life. And sometimes you may be dealing with people that have tried to control you. I've dealt with that. I'm talking about blood, 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 close, close, close. Um, and when I decided you cannot control me anymore, I'm not going to walk around on eggshells with you anymore. Once I said that, we haven't spoken to this day. Not like that. You know, I don't. And I don't feel guilty about any of it. For what? I don't have to love anybody. Did you know that? Family is not everything part two. On the last video, a viewer commented and I thought it was amazing. And they said, my family is okay. And I love that they posted that because not everybody has killers, murderers, rapists, sexual molesters, alcoholics, abusers, and beaters in their family and have committed crimes against their own family in that way. There are other crimes that are just as you know toxic and painful, such as gossiping, talking about each other behind each other's back. So in this video, we're gonna talk about if your family is just okay, and also the guilt of walking away if you had to run away, move away, and dealing with the shame if you're dealing with that. So number one, your family is okay. Your family just talks about each other behind each other's back. Why did she marry him? And why did they have kids together? Yet they always want you to bring the kids over. Why does she go vegan? But they always want your recipes and they wanna know how to make the smoothies you make online. Okay, they talk about, oh, she started another business, yet they want your business ideas and claim them for themselves. Okay, so that is just as painful and hurtful or the ones that just don't show up. They don't show up for your weddings, your births, and you know those monumental times in your life, um, graduations that you have even as an adult. Those things are also hurtful and painful those things are also a part of reasons why you move away and you walk away from family. And here's one. I have a family member that I don't talk to anymore like that, but when I would, the first thing that would come out of their mouth is something negative, either about themselves or about somebody else. It's like, as soon as I say, how are you doing? Girl, I didn't fell off the truck and broke all my toes. It's always something or you heard about, it's always something like that. And so if you want to move away from that, there's nothing wrong with you. Even if there are blood family members, people talk about Jeffrey, uh, what's his name? Uh, the one who used to eat people. What was his name? Jeffrey Dahmer. Yes. So, you know, let's just, let's just take him. I'm sure he had cousins, uncles, aunts, you know, he was born from two people. So there had to be some other relatives. Let's just say he did. Right. And he was uncle Jeffrey. And <laughs> You know, we got to go to Uncle Jeffrey house. That is your uncle. Why are we going over there? Why? Look what he does. Take anybody in society who has done something crazy, you know, um, and with all sensitivity, um, Adolf Hitler or just anybody that has done something. Well, you know, that is your, your grandpa Adolf. We, we going over there. You know, we going to have to visit. You know, we got to go. over. No, we don't. Absolutely. We do not. If I knew I had a pedophile in my family that was really, really like close, like blood, like an uncle or something like that, we're not going over there. He's not going to be around my children. OK, so we have to get away from this guilt of feeling like we have to be a part of something when. Listen, here's the thing. Number one, these people are just people. This is what's going to help you navigate through this and heal through it. Realize that whoever it is, your uncle, aunt, cousin, they're just people. Jeffrey, all of them, they're just people and they are related to somebody. Somebody's their cousin, somebody's their uncle, somebody's their, you know, relative. They are just people. And whatever they've done to you, if somebody else had done it in another situation, you'd have something to say about it. Why give this person an excuse or a pass because they're blood? And like I said, because we came out the same twat. That's the female version, you know, of the most clean thing I can say or because our parents came out the same twat making us cousins, I have to give you a pass. I absolutely do not. If you're talking about me behind my back and you're being two faced and then you're coming in my face, I don't have to deal with you for the rest of my life. And just because you have to move away, doesn't mean you have to go away in bitterness or resentment. You just move away. You just don't talk to them anymore. You just don't have anything to do with them. If you're the type of person that wants to move forward in positivity and you just don't want negativity around you, you just don't want to talk about other people in a negative, bad way. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, Dorian, no family is perfect. No, but we do have to be in alignment. 
We don't have to be perfect. No human is perfect, but we do have to be in alignment. We're still gonna talk about feeling guilt or just that icky yucky feeling that you may feel because you had to do it. But just because you had to walk away does not take away from what someone did for you and who they were to you in that season for your life. It doesn't take away from that. Well, I did do this for her and I did do this for him and I did do, yeah, and some of you, um, you were supposed to. <laughs> you were their parent, you know, you're our parents, you're supposed to. Thinking about other relationships and connections in the family, in the bloodline, thinking about other connections in the bloodline, it doesn't take away from what we may have had in the past. But if you're wanting to evolve and you want to do things differently, you want to think differently, you want to expand your life and you don't want to stay in the same place physically, mentally, financially. This is why I moved to Dallas. I moved to Dallas last year. It's just because I wanted to expand who I am and where I was. It was limiting. It was limiting beliefs. Um, even talking about moving here. That's how you really know if you just throw it out there, which I didn't. I'm just saying, let's say you throw it out there because I knew my environment as the, the immediate response you get lets you know what kind of environment that you're in. What she's moving out there for? Well, you just, all of that, all the, 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 the talk, you know? But it doesn't take away from if somebody babysat your kids. It doesn't take away from if somebody helped you with a bill or helped you with groceries. And I'm sure you helped some people do some things too. That's the thing, what are we talking about here? Why are we even talking about that? If you do something for somebody, you do something for them. Anyways, and here's one reason why we have a hard time walking away from our family because we ourselves are codependent. Well, if I move away too far, who's gonna help me babysit my kids? Who's gonna help me watch my children? Who's going to help pick them up? Or who's gonna help me with this money or this bill? I'm on this person's insurance and if I have to get off and get on my own, then I don't know if I can do it. So this right here is a whole nother video, which is what I talk about on my channel, manifesting and creating the life that you want to live so that you're not dependent upon somebody. So that's why a lot of you still stay around those environments because you're dependent upon them and you don't have the faith yet. And you haven't believed in yourself enough to know that you can do it on your own, right? So in my last video, part one, I'm specifically talking about people that are just not good. They're just evil and they do things in the family. That's just, ugh. and this one would be geared more to families that are okay, but it can also apply to part one people. It doesn't mean that these people are evil. It just means that we're not in alignment and I don't see what the big deal is. So what? We have the same DNA running in our veins. So what? You don't owe anybody anything. You don't owe your siblings anything. You don't even owe your parents anything. You don't owe anybody anything other than our basic human respect for one another, right? We don't owe each other anything. Some of you have family members that are waiting for you to make it big, like their whole prosperity <laughs> is dependent upon you. You're carrying the prosperity of your whole bloodline on your back. <laughs> They're waiting for you to buy them that house, buy them that car. I can't wait till you make it big so you can buy. And if you do have bitterness or anger and resentment when you walked away, you have to make sure you deal with that. And sometimes you do have to move away first in order to deal with it. They say that you don't heal in the same place where you were hurt. So that's a possibility for you. Some of you have to get away and move away, change zip codes, as I say, and deal with that because you know better than them if you have bitterness, anger, and resentment, but you don't have to be in a relationship. You don't have to engage. You do not have to engage. I don't care if it's your mother, your father, your sister, sibling, it does not matter. If they're not in alignment with the goodwill for your life and they have evil intentions and they didn't get what they needed or whatever the reason why they're doing what they're doing, you don't owe them anything. And do you have to give money to them? No. Do you have to go spend time with them? No. And so this is what I was talking about for number two about feeling guilty for putting yourself first now, feeling guilty for sacrificing them now instead of sacrificing yourself. I'm just here to tell you and confirm, and here's a word for you. If you're seeing this message, it's for you. You don't have to feel guilty at all. That is their life, especially if they're grown adults. You have to get to this place in your life where I'm not going to feel guilty for walking away and wanting better for myself. I'm not going to feel ashamed or feel some kind of way because I haven't talked to my this in a long time or my that. And people used to get on my nerves with that stuff. You talk to you. Why do you keep asking me that? You know I don't, and even if you know I don't, if you wanna know how, how well they're doing, call them yourself. I probably don't even have their phone number, and some of you experience that. People will ask you, so how's your mama doing? And 
You don't even have a relationship with your mom. How's your sister? How's your brother? How's your uncle? How's your grandfather? I don't know. That's what you're saying. I don't know. I don't deal with them. How's that old friend, that, that, that girl you used to hang with? You know that girl. You know, some of you are set apart to do some great things. And even if you're not meant to have a great platform, be some great influencer or on a, a stage somewhere, you still have a sphere of influence right where you are and it's just as great. And being around limited believing people, which most of the time is your family because that's how you were raised and your culture and your tradition, you have to set yourself apart. I've heard celebrities say all the time, that's why we moved to LA. That's why they move out of their small hometowns and not every small hometown is toxic and bad. There are some cute little ones, you know what I'm saying? That are very positive and uplifting and very supportive. But you know, some of you are set apart to do some different things and you cannot be around those mindsets. That's all it is. And I don't feel guilty about any of it. For what? They didn't feel guilty about treating me like I'm just gonna put it out there. They didn't feel guilty about some of the stuff that they said and did. So what am I gonna feel guilty for? Because I'm choosing to live the life I wanna live. And if they did, they haven't come to me and apologized authentically. So it is what it is. And sometimes it's just the mindsets that people have. You don't wanna be around that. You don't wanna think like that. I have a whole new mindset of positivity all the time, increase all the time, abundance all the time. And most of my bloodline does not think like that. I don't believe that you have to just suffer every single day. And I already told God, Spirit, Universe, uh, maybe four or five years ago, I said, listen, if life is gonna be like this, I don't wanna be here. I need you to take me out now. Take me out and take my kids with me so they don't have to stay here and suffer. I'm dead serious. And that's when I got on this path of changing my mind and changing my thoughts consistently. And you know, you don't have to love anybody. Did you know that? I've learned that. You don't have to love anybody. It doesn't mean that you have to hate them, but I don't have to give my love to anybody I don't want to give my love to. You know, even my kids, they don't have to love me. They have to respect me, especially if they live in my house and they're dependent upon me financially. But they don't have to love me. If you don't want to love me, you don't like me, that's fine. But you will respect me. And so I don't have to give my love to anybody. I don't. Well, you're supposed to love everybody, you're supposed to love. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. We can agree to disagree. I do not, especially if those people are not reciprocating. I'm just here to tell you, you're okay. You're okay. If you don't deal with your blood family, you're okay. I remember when my dad died, I had a couple of cousins helping me out at the end when it was really getting tough and he was getting ready to, to go. But there was also another lady and she was white who stepped up and was more like family to me than blood relatives. So family, it's relative. Family is who I say is family. You know, you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family is a lie. Yes, I can choose my family because I choose how family is defined. <laughs> Find your sole purpose and that will tell you what family is and who your family is. And sometimes you still will talk to blood relatives. This is not a campaign of anti-family. It's just period. If they're not in alignment with who you are and who you want to be, you don't have to deal with them. Whether they're just okay people or whether there's some serious criminal, you know, really, really intense negative things happening like that should be on the news that's just inappropriate type things that are happening abuse and hitting and alcoholism those type of things you definitely have to get away from those things but just listen to the video watch it again if you need to and realize that they're just human okay they're just people and you don't owe them anything there's no reason for you to feel guilty or ashamed because you haven't talked to so and so and that's what we'll do we're like man i haven't talked to him in three months let me go ahead and call him don't do that out of you know obligation because as soon as you do it, it's like, why did I even call him? I should have never called <laughs> As soon as you call, girl, you're okay. You're okay. I'll be your family. If we're in alignment, we're family. Now make sure you watch part one. I talked about Jesus. I used him as an example and I use everybody just like the names I use in here. So it's not about religion. I use Jesus as an example, a great example of having to deal with blood relatives and his purpose and his destiny. So you're okay. <laughs>